In this video, we will solve proportions that have a variable in two locations. In this first example, we have 4 over x equals 6 over 3x plus 2. We know in proportions, we multiply the diagonals, or the cross product. As we do, we must remember that the denominator, 3x plus 2, must be in parentheses, showing we're multiplying the 4 by the entire denominator, not just part of it. We now have 4 times the 3x plus 2 must be equal to the other diagonal, 6 times x. This will give us a general linear equation, which we should be very comfortable solving by first distributing the 4 to get 12x plus 8 equals 6x. And then we can move the variable to one side of the equation by subtracting 12x from both sides. We now have 8 equals negative 6x. And finally, we can divide both sides by negative 6 to get x is equal to negative 4 thirds after reducing. If we remember the denominators and numerators have parentheses around them, using the cross product, we can quickly solve for our variable. Let's try one more example. Again, in this problem, we'll use the cross product, multiplying diagonals, and as we do, we'll remember parentheses around the binomials. We're solving 2x minus 3 over 7x plus 4 equals 2 fifths. The first diagonal, then, is 5 times the quantity 2x minus 3, which would be equal to the other diagonal, 2, times the quantity 7x plus 4. The most common mistake made on problems such as this, students forget the parentheses around the binomials. We can solve this general equation by first distributing through the parentheses, giving us 10x minus 15 equals 14x plus 8. As we have the variable on both sides of the equation, We'll move the 10x over by subtracting 10x from both sides. This gives us negative 15 equals 4x plus 8. Now we have a simple two-step equation where we can subtract 8 from both sides to get negative 23, 23 equals 4x, and finally divide both sides by 4 to get x is equal to the fraction negative 23 over 4. Again, we solve these proportions, or two equal fractions, with the cross product, multiplying the diagonals. If there is a binomial in either the numerator or denominator, we simply remember to put that binomial in parentheses, and then solve the resulting equation.